How to use accounting, accounting software tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, in this tutorial, we'll explore the world of accounting software with a beginner's guide on how to use accounting. Accounting is a powerful and intuitive accounting software designed for small businesses and freelancers. It provides a comprehensive set of tools to help you manage your financial transactions, track expenses, generate invoice, and gain valuable insights into your business financial health. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the basics of accounting, starting with an overview of its features and benefits, and we'll guide you through the process of setting up your accounting account, customizing your company settings, and importing your financial data. You'll also learn how to navigate the accounting interface, explore the different modules and functionalities available, and perform key accounting tasks such as creating invoice, recording expenses, and generating financial reports. So whether you're a complete beginner or have some experience using accounting, this tutorial will provide you a solid foundation on how to effectively use the accounting software that we are going to talk about today. So if you're ready, let's begin. Now as you can see right now, I am currently in accounting.com. This is their official website and this is where you will be able to see different information about this website that we are going to talk about today. As you can see here, accounting is a free, open source, and online accounting software for small businesses and freelancers. Freelancers, just like what I said before. You will be able to see the different features and different applications that you could use through this website. So before we get started with how we can create and get started with using accounting, we're first going to talk about the different apps and features that you could use with accounting. For the different apps, you will be able to see that you will be able to have apps such as Double Entry, Inventory, Projects, Payrolls, CRM, Expense Claim, and we could also view all the different things of the different apps that we are going to see. As you can see here, you will be able to install and download app into your accounting software to help with your experience. There are a lot of different types of apps over here as you can see accounting, CRM, e-commerce, HR and many more depending on what you need and each of this app has the goal to help you improve your experience when using accounting. And so if ever you need any extra feature, just look for these categories over here, look through the different categories that you would like and simply download them into your accounting account. There are free apps, paid apps, and trending apps in this section so that you will be able to filter out the different apps that you can see so you would know which applications are the best. Now moving on, the different features that we could check out is that the different features available in accounting are bank accounts, multi-company, powerful reporting, client portal, recur everything, customer summary, and all of these other options over here such as various payments, tax rates, multi-currency, discount, unlimited attachment, transaction categories, bulk auction, dashboard, and widgets. You could also see plans of what you could do with accounting. Now although accounting is free indeed, but there are different features that you would be able to access using a better plan. As you can see here, we have free cloud which is what we are using right now, which is free. The different features are unlimited invoices, unlimited bills, unlimited customers, unlimited vendors, and multiple currencies. As you can see, a lot of the features are unlimited. Some other accounting software, they only have they only have limited amount of some features. For example, they only offer a limited amount of customers. Some accounting software out there doesn't offer an unlimited option unlike accounting. For the premium version, which is $36 per month, you will be able to have more features as you can see here and more things to do and more users as you can see here also. It's the same thing for Elite Cloud, which is $84 per month and Ultimate Cloud over here, which is $218 per month. So whatever you would need for your company, depending on your needs, you should choose the appropriate plan over here to make use of the advantages that you would get when you use the different plans offered over here so that accounting will be able to assist you and help you achieve what you are trying to do the best way possible. Now let's begin 
using our accounting we're going go to go back to our home page as you can see here and the next thing we're going to do to be able to create an account is click on get started over here in this page you will be able to start using accounting using the cloud which is here which is using it through the internet through your browsers or you can download it into your desktop or laptop or whatever device you're using and you will be able to use accounting on your computer for now we're going to go with the cloud version going to click on start and now in this section what you're going to do is you're going to enter your name email and then password and then you're going to click on create account now as you can see we have successfully signed up what you're going to do next is go to check your email and you will be able to activate your account now after confirming your account through your email you're simply going to go back to your accounting or click on the link provided in the email and simply you will be redirected to this page over here now you're going to enter your email that you have used to create your account and then your password once again and after logging in after logging in the account that you used to create you will now be redirected to this page over here where we will be creating our first company over here you're simply going to enter your company name I'm going to go with this random name for now choose a language make sure that it's a language that you use we're going to go with english and your business currency over here you can choose for all of these different options and the company that your company is located in after that you're going to create a company simply click the button and you will be able to create your company just like that and as you can see here they are setting up our company so you're going to have to wait for a few seconds or maybe even a few minutes and now over here you're going to have to enter more information about your company like your tax number financial year start address your logo and your country over here for now we're going to skip this step but for you i suggest that you complete this step before you proceed now we're going to click on skip this step and over here it's going to ask you what your company do what your role at the company how long you have been in the business how many team members you have what do you use to build your customers and what would you like to do in accounting once again the same thing with the company from earlier you're simply going to enter the options that you need or enter the options that are accurate in this section for now i have entered random information so that we could proceed to the next stage I'm going to click on save and now over here in this section you will be able to have the option to install different apps into your accounting depending on what you think you would need for example over here there are recommended apps that you could use you can simply accept it or click on the specific app that you would like to install and you will be able to install it by clicking this button over here install selected app and you're simply going to wait once again and now finally over here this is our page for accounting we're going to check out that dashboard first by clicking the dashboard option over here now this is the dashboard of accounting as you can see here you will be able to see your receivables in this section even view the report for your receivables see your payables in this section beside the receivables and once again you could click on view report as well you could also edit this or delete this from your dashboard if you would like. You could see your cash flow in this section, your profit and loss, expense by category, accounting balance, and you could also connect your bank accounts in this section. You could also click on this three dots over here where you will be able to add widgets. By clicking this, you could add widgets with the name, the types over here, the width, and sort over here. You could also create another dashboard or manage your dashboards over here. For example, for this specific default dashboard you would like to see your cash flow or your cash information but you, you could also create another dashboard that focuses on another thing for example we could click on widgets once again click on type you could choose another dashboard create another dashboard that focuses on your bank accounts as you can see here you could add your account balance your currencies all of those stuff and it is completely up to you on how you would like to edit or customize your dashboard over here on the left side you will be able to see items in this section you could click on items and in this section you will be able to add items for example you are selling things online you will be able to add products in this section or services and you could use that to create invoices and bills for you to have a price tax and fields for example you're selling your services as a video editor you could add that item in this section and when you create an invoice for your client you will be able to automatically have that as one of your items when you create an invoice later on you could also check out your sales over here you could check out your customers and invoices over here 
for the invoice we're going to check it out right now you will be able to create a new invoice over here import invoice have estimates credit notes and sales order over here by clicking on new invoice you would be able to create your first new invoice on your accounting account you will simply enter your title subheading logo over here if you want add a customer that you are going to send this billing to and the item over here just like what i said earlier you will be able to add items over here are there a product or simply a service uh, or you can simply type in the name over here type in the description and quantity price and amount and you can simply change the currency over here and enter notes and you can simply save or send to the person that you would like to send it to you can add customers by clicking this customer section over here you can add new customers import customers or have crm on your accounting over here you can enter their name email phone website reference and all of this information that you will be able to receive through your customers some are required and some are not required so the required informations that you would need to add are the name and the currency over here you can also check out your purchases you can check out your bills vendors banking over here all the different bank information or bank features that you could use reports and apps over here if you would like to add some apps and that's and that's a very quick overview of how you would be able to use accounting and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching